Those who've left jail don't go back. That's one of Mayor Eric Adams goals right now, and he was in the Bronx today and News 12's Julio Avila was there when the mayor announced his goal. And so Julio, how will he accomplish this? Well, simply put, he says that he wants to help those youth that are on probation right now with resources and expand on programs that are already in place so that way they don't end up in places like the courthouses, such as the ones that we're next to, and ultimately jail. The mayor was joined earlier this afternoon with his commissioner uh, on probation, as well as from the Office of Criminal Justice, along with other elected officials earlier today. They mentioned how these young people who've had run-ins with the law should be given the resources to turn their lives around. And one way they had mentioned that was by expanding the neighborhood opportunity networks, or which are also known as NEON. They want to add more and expand more in the Bronx and across the city. Now, the programs, they offer courses for those on probation, such as photography classes. And in fact, Andre Whitehead was one of, the, uh, one of those on probation when he was younger. He was part of NEON, and he says he thanks a camera and the photography class for changing his life. And it doesn't stop here for those for those at home and, and you and you're sitting there and you and you feel down and out, just know it's not over. You're still breathing, you're still living, you're still learning. It's not over. You still have a chance. Pretty cool. And so Julio, has there been any talk of how this program will be funded? Yeah, well, roughly $5.5 million of it will be going towards the NEON program. Some of it coming from the city, but also the rest coming from partnerships and other organizations such as Carnegie Hall. We're in Conquerors Village. I'm Julio Avila, News 12.